Greetings fellow detectives, WizardKitten774 here, bringing you the next video in our Nancy Drew Secret of the Scarlet Hand walkthrough. We are trying to get down to the lowest level of the pyramid here, and we need to figure out the name of one of Shield Jaguar's wives, which should be somewhere in the garden here. So there's like Shield Jaguar, doesn't say the name of his wife. This is the bicephalic monster. <laughs> Little is known. Flalok Talalok, is that how you say it? The rain god? Is this? Ooh, is that them? No, that's the goddess Eek's chill. Saw two people and I got excited. Here's the monolith. Crazy stuff going on with the monolith right now. Come on. Come on. I wanna... Yeah, I wanna... Ooh, it's a cool pathway. I wanna go that way. There we go. Uh, da -da -da -da. How about here? Lady Zock! It's just Zock. Shield Jaguar's wife. Okay. Lady Zock. Here we go. And over here. Okay, now we're going to go up into the pyramid. And then we go over here. And then we scan. And then we go over to the quiz. And put our card in. Quiz. Lady Zuck. There we go. Which Maya monster represents the continuous cycle of life and death? That would be the bicephalic monster. What did the Maya call a decorative woven blouse? That would be a hupil. What is a kahal? A prominent local noble man. What is the name of a Maya matchmaker? I can't find the answer to this in the museum, but we found it in Henrik's notes. It's a Tanzahab. There we go. You've successfully completed the temple level two quiz. Sweet, so now we have, yes, now we have everything. So we can back away. And now we can go down to the lowest level. Woohoo! Scan our card. Awesome. Whole new level. Cool stuff. Let's look. King Pakal's tomb, recreating the great find. Hmm, adorned with rare jade ornaments. Sarcophagus. Ooh, so it's a replica of his sarcophagus. Can we... See, so yeah, we need to finish all the things on level it's 3 locked. in order to open it up and get a cool glow stick. Jade and the Maya. To the ancient Maya, jade was a sacred stone more valuable than gold or silver. Green like the shoots of young corn plants, jade was a symbol of life. Associated with fertility and life-giving waters, it was even believed to have healing powers. So that's why there's so many jade carvings. The Maya were expert astronomers and were extremely interested in the passage and marking of time. While they did not use hours or minutes, they did have a complex method of determining the days and months of a year, and their calendar was very similar. Move the calendar stone so the date equals 12 Kaban. Okay, so the easiest way to do that, if we look on here, Kaban is... It's got, I mean, how do you describe this? It looks like a nose. And then there's two little dark circles in the up, um, diagonal corners across from each other. So first let's put in our card. So we need to move this dial to Kaban. There is Kaban. None of these. None of these. Aha, that one. And then we need to move this to 12, which would be um, two lines and two dots. Because each line is five and each dot is one. And also, you could probably just keep spinning and it would know. Yeah, like, so if you just randomly spun the 
game would know. And you wouldn't even need to know the actual answer. Sweet! We got one puzzle done down here. Oop. Let's go down the hall here. That is a creepy little statue. Looks like a monkey. Cool light. This is a cool level. This would be fun to explore at a museum. Aha! So this is all matching up the gods and goddesses. I have some of them written down. So we know we know Tlaloc is the rain god. We just looked at that. Yum Kimmel is the god of death. We learned that in the second level. Um, Ixchil is the moon goddess. And it'll tell you if you're wrong. Um, where's the war god? War god is Balak. Okay, you have to do the god first and then their area, I suppose. Um, who else do we know right off the top of our head? Kukul Khan is the wind god. Um, Yum Cox is the corn god. And then, let's see, how keen is the sun god? A lot of these I have written down, some of these I just happen to remember. And then we have the Jaguar God, which is Zabalanke. And Ekahau is the God of Travelers. There we go. So it's just a matching game. Easy enough. Burial Rituals. As preparation for the long and often dangerous journey through the afterlife, the Maya buried their dead with religious articles and objects they had used when alive. Tools such as grinding stones and flint points, jewelry and other ornaments, small figurines placed in the arms of the dead for companionship. Jade. Ground corn. Ew, creepy. Okay, what do we got? Ooh! Very still water. That's a cool view. I don't know if I've ever seen that view. <laughs> in the earlier games when the water didn't move. Okay. Let's see. We should have another quiz here. At last, you have found the secret resting place of King Pakal. Once you have completed all the activities for this level, get your souvenir light stick. So we only have to do the quiz now. What I animal? I have a feeling this may be one of Sunny's tricks. <laughs> SJ, remove this at once. H H. I know the answer. I don't think it's going to let me put it in, though. Um, spoiler alert, I guess. Yeah, it won't let me do it yet. So we need to wait, um, since Henrik seems to know what it is. Let's go ask Henrik. Maybe he can tell us. Uh, so now we need to go all the way back up. And we need to go all the way back up here. And then we need to go all the way back down. Let's go. Hopefully it's not too late to go see Henrik. Oh shoot. Is it 8.30 in the morning or 8.30 at night? It's probably 8.30 at night. In which case we'll have to go to sleep. Wait until 10 in the morning. Oh, it's at night. Alright, so we need to come back at 10 a.m. So let's go to the hotel. Back to the hotel. Where Nancy's gonna sleep for a really long time. I hope she, like, brought a book or something. Or, like puzzles or just something to do in the meantime because sleeping for over 12 hours would be tricky and boring. Okay, 10 a.m. Set. If you guys keep hearing those like little noises, I just keep getting emails. It's weird. Happened in a couple other videos. Let's see, where am I going? Oh yeah, I'm going to the hospital. For visiting hours with Henrik. He needs to tell us what animal Sunny June feared most so we can get through that last level of the 
pyramid. Aw, oh, reality orientation in progress. Come on, Henrik. I needed to talk to you. Alright, well, let's go to the museum and see if we have any deliveries yet. That's one of the other important things we need to be doing right now. I want cool stuff. Shipping and receiving. Anything here? <gasps> we have a package! Who got us our package first? Beach Hill Museum. Attention, Henrik van der Heun. Oh, this is the one from the smugglers. Okay, so this is a puzzle box. The key to the puzzle box is that we know that the Maya uh, thought that cross eyes were um, aesthetically pleasing. So you have to make all the eyes crossed. the box will open. Pakal carving! Well, not a pakal carving, but this is the Copan Fool. And it will be perfect for helping us with our cube. And we'll get rid of that. Okay, now let's go check on Henrik and see if he's done with his reality orientation. It's probably been 15 minutes. It had to take us longer to get here than that. Because the hospital, well, maybe not. Maybe that's relatively realistic. Either way, I want him to be done now, because we need to talk to him. Aha! Henrik! Good afternoon, young lady. This is a long shot, but do you know what animal Pakal was afraid of? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Henrik, I received a note from your friends in Copan. I've got the Copan fool key. I still need the Pakal, though. How's your memory? The tomb! Nancy, I hid the Pakal carving in the replica of the Pakal tomb at the bottom of the temple exhibit. Huh. Now how did I think of that? And another thing. You'll need to get past that computer quiz. Sunny set it up with an impossible question. No one knows what Pakal was afraid of, but Sunny was petrified of the Coatamundi. It's an ornery bandit with a narrow snout and a long ringed tail, much like a raccoon or a polecat. Hmm. <laughs> According to your notes, Pakal made a six part key to the Whisperer's tomb and scattered the pieces around the world. Do you remember anything about this? Six keys? Six keys? Six keys! Nancy, what are the four corners of the world? North, south, east, and west. Plus the first king, Pakal himself, and the Copan fool. When they're all assembled, they open the tomb. Don't you see? This is why I stole the Pakal to prevent some other schemer from putting the key together. Do you think I should alert the police? You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. I love how nonchalantly Nancy says that. She's like, hmm, do you think I should tell the police? It's like, Nancy, this is kind of a big deal here. Have you ever been part of a smuggling racket? I don't know. Conveniently forgot that one, didn't you? You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. But he gave us lots of useful information. So he hid the Pakal carving in the tomb on the lowest level of the exhibit. And he told us that the answer to the final quiz is Kuatamundi, which Sunny was afraid of. So we will do that in the next episode. I'll see you there, fellow detectives. <laughs>